Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Hello, so I'm back. Um, I haven't been filming lately because I've been changing internet providers, so I haven't had the internet for a couple of days. I've been trying to sort out my life financially because I don't have a job at the moment, so now I'm on benefits. Um, what else have I been doing? Seeing friends, reading. At the moment I'm reading Duck's New Report which I'm enjoying. Um, what else have I been doing? Cooking a lot, watching movies a lot. So yeah, I've been busy sorting my life out. Um, but now I'm coming on to do my favourites of the month video. So, um, oh, what else? I've also got my um, tea in my new Mulan mug. I got this mug from Primark, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this mug. So that's one of my favourites. Um, what else? Oh, this is one of my favourite things. So back in March, I ordered stuff from this company I found on Instagram. And um, they sent, like, I ordered my stuff and then basically it was coming from China. So it was taking like months to get to me. So last month the stuff that i ordered actually arrived so one of the things i ordered was this bag i mean the badges are my own but um really like this bag it's got enough room for everything i need and after lockdown if the schools are open again and i'm working in schools um this will be i don't know a sleek looking bag to roam the corridors in so really glad i like that because sometimes when you get bags online you're not really I mean you look at the measurements but you're still not really it's hard to get a feel for how big the bag is and what it will be like using daily but I'm really happy with that so that's good and it's waterproof um what else my um I ordered more gowns and I'm loving those gowns. I actually feel like, I don't know, like I'm really, really rich, even though I'm like very, very, very not rich. Um, but I feel rich. Um, yeah, I look like, I look like I live in a castle with this or like I'm from the aristocracy or something, but I have no money and no savings <laughs> at all. Um, so I'm really glad that I did buy some things back in March, even though, because I was working in March, so I didn't know things were going to shut down. Um, so I'm really glad I did buy them, because now having no money, when those things came last month, I was like, oh my god, um, like, who's bought me these things? I bought them. <laughs> uh, what else have I been liking? When I was back at my parents, so I drove back up from my parents, like, end of May, but the cake I bought from M&S that I bought back in May, I was eating well into June, and I've still got some bits of it in my freezer, so I'm counting that as a June favourite. And it was their, like, chocolate cookies cream dribble cake, and it is it would cost 15 quid, so it was really expensive. But um, I've had the cake before because a friend had it for a birthday, and then I was like, this cake is, like, the best chocolate cake I've ever eaten. So once in a while, I don't mind paying an extortionate amount of money for cake because it's really really good and I wanted to give myself a surprise like a gift for going to see my parents which is silly but I'm an adult so I can give myself gifts all the time if I can afford to and my mum gave me like 20 quid so I spent 15 of it on a cake which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do but I don't regret it so I guess it paid off I also made a Victoria sponge cake, um, so that was lovely. At the moment, I want to make scones, so um, I'm probably going to make those tomorrow morning. What else? So, book-wise, I have been liking 100 Years of Solitude. I'm going to do a video on this at some point, and I reread one of my favourite books, The Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Mila Spark, so really enjoyed reading those. Um, what else have I been liking? Musically, I've been liking Chromatica by Lady Gaga. 
I've been liking kind of old R&B songs like um, Marcus Houston music, SWV, um, what else? Nelly, um, his song Loving Me, loving that at the moment. Film-wise, I watched The Matrix for the first time. I've seen like bits of The Matrix, but I've never seen it fully. Um, so now I'm kind of developing a slight obsession with Keanu Reeves because he is very, 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 very beautiful. Uh... Get me the hell out of here! Welcome to the real world. Um, yeah, he's he's lush. Um, and what else? So back in February in Primark, I love Primark for their Disney merchandise and their Harry Potter merchandise. Um, so during June, I kind of went on a Primark tour with my friend who I used to work with. Um, so I went to the Stockport one, which is quite small. I went to the New Trafford Centre one, which I thought was going to be massive, but it wasn't. And that was really bad. Like there was hardly any merchandise there. And then I went to the city centre one in Manchester, which had the thing I wanted, which was, um, it's this small like mirror of Erised um, from the first Harry Potter movie. And it just so much detail is in this little thing. And I'm like, people, I'm pretty sure I saw it on Gumtree for like 40 quid and like Harry Potter fans would buy it. And what I like about Primark merch is that they make it. And then after a while, after about six months, they never make it again. So it's, um, it, they kind of become collectibles, even though, they're kind of really tacky. So some Primark merch is like, the mo the majority of it is like really, really tacky. But once in a while, you get these really, really good finds. So like, like a lot of the Mulan merch, I mean, with the Mulan merch, they did actually go to task on it. But like, this is China. Like in the Disney store, this would be like 13 pounds or it would be like five pounds in Primark. And look at it, it's lush. Oh, it's so lush. Oh my God. Um, So yes, I love my Mirror of Errors ad. Uh, uh, what else am I looking forward to in July? So in July, I'm um, at the moment I'm writing a Pokemon fan fiction because I've been playing Pokemon on Game Boy so much lately. Um, so I want to finish my Pokemon fan fiction. I am reading Duck's New Report, so I'm gonna read that. Um, I am also hopefully gonna get a job, um, but don't know. I've sent some poetry out to places that I've written, so hopefully I'll get more poetry writing done and baking, seeing friends. I'm also, um, since March, I have read loads and loads of books, but I haven't really had the chance to talk about most of them on the channel because I've been busy sorting my life out. Um, so like here I have the list of books. So, I mean, this pile that I'm staring at every day that I need to film with, are kind of annoying me now but I mean they're books so they're nice to have around but you know the tower is kind of a bit intimidating at this point um so I want to get through my lockdown read series because if lockdown is kind of lifting now in places I'm like I need to kind of wrap those up now because if three months from now I'm still doing videos on what I read in March and April and May and June it's gonna be I'm gonna have missed the boat basically um so yeah i need to get around to those but basically on all of them i'm basically going to do like i'm hoping to do like short videos on each book um just talking about how i found them so i'm excited to do that and also in the meantime i have been um oh i forgot to mention when i was back home in wales um my brother used to be a train spotter now he's a train driver so i guess he doesn't need to spot trains anymore um, but i found this camera in like his old room and stole it so um Actually, once I used it, once I was practicing using it, I was like, my phone has more megapixels than this kind of older Fujifilm camera. But I think it will be useful to have, like, if I'm film, if I'm making interesting shots, it will be good to have a second vantage point. So I am glad I stole this, um, and it it looks really YouTuberish to have this <laughs> on my desk. Um, what else? Oh, I've also been trying to find um, an editing software that I can actually use. Um, so if this video's turned out well, that means 
it's turned out well using that editing software. But I think I find one now that I can actually use on a regular basis that will make my videos look a bit less Brer Rabbit. Um, so give me a thumbs up for my editing if it's gone well. Um, and yeah, let me know what were some of your favourite things last month. Um, all right, bye.